back, back, <laughs> and then you trip over. And then you trip over the table. Yeah, exactly. I got <laughs> right. It's not a real table, so it's fine. We're starting here. All right. Hey all, Tames here. Back playing some more Planet Zoo. So we are back in Missoula for episode three, and we have Haribo back with us. Awkwardly say hello again, Haribo. Hello again. <laughs> <laughs> Right, so Haribo and I have just been enjoying a glass of red wine uh, in the in the conservatory. <laughs> we have new things to show you, which are very exciting. I'm very excited because most of the stuff in this episode is mine. <laughs> finally. <laughs> <laughs> finally. Finally, Tobes actually contributes something. Uh, so we'll make our way we'll make our way back to excuse me, all of the people pushing through. Oh god, we've always got people wanting to go for a wee. Uh, right, so you've seen this before. You saw this in uh, what, episode one, and it's been changed a few times. We're going to start off going this way. When they do that little thing, does that mean they're enjoying the view? Or does that mean they're... It does mean they're enjoying the view, doesn't it? I hope so, yeah. <laughs> that guy wasn't too sure. Um, anyway, so we one of the things I didn't do the first time I did this deck was add the disabled access in. So we've now got a disabled access, a little disabled ramp. Yeah, it's a thing we always have to think about. Yeah, so I didn't really think about it the first time. So here's your first little view at our, as you'll have seen from the thumbnail and the and the title, our red panda habitat. Uh, so we've got this little deck spot. I added these. I think these. I think these may well have been in the last episode, but I didn't mention them. Little patio heaters. I like them. Yeah, I like them too. And I like the fact that they can. Well, people don't actually sit here, unfortunately. Uh, but... Actually, I uh, one time I saw a guy sitting there. Really? Oh, yes. awesome! He's my favourite person in the zoo ever. The rest of them all can do one. <laughs> <laughs> it's getting my way. Right, so let's go down and have a look at this. So I don't think we'd even come down this path at all before, had we? So we'd kind no, of walk down that way. Right. Uh, so this is supposed to be the the kind of um, the leftover building material and stuff from when this was this kind of put in. Um, so we've got these two kind of cu couple of little gabions here, and this is a, a stone wall. Um, yeah. So yeah, so many pieces. it is many. There are many, many. Many pieces. Oh, so many pieces are falling to the floor with shock. Um, I think I, I keep saying this as well. I wonder how many temple rubble pieces we've got in the whole zoo. By the end of the zoo, it's going to be a lot. I think the most uh, used piece. Yeah, they make such a difference, though. I think. Yes. So this is all a bit. Sh it gets a little bit shady in there, unfortunately. But um, as you can, so we'll go around and see that there's a few different points of view. I think that's this. all right. That's all right. Yeah, I don't mind the fact that it's a bit shady. And we've got a couple of little, like, I don't know, kind of like this little discovery discovery point that kind of come down this little sneaky little narrow. I can't remember if I did a two meter or three meter path here, but. That's a two meter. This looks like a two, doesn't it? Fun and games. Yep. Um, so you get a couple of little points where you can kind of peek in at the habitat. Um, we've got a custom wall back there and stuff. We'll do a little bit of a flyover later, but. Come down this little path. This is your I kind of reused your stone, yeah. your dry stone stuff. A couple of little things. We've got another. We'll see this on the other side, but like a little kind of little features. This is my favourite spot in the zoo at the moment. This little peaky hole. Even though you can you can see the guests, I kind of like this little peaky hole. Yeah, it, it feels so much like zoo. And they do it as well. They do actually yeah. come and use it. I saw someone the other day just standing there with a camera. Looking at looking through this little gap. <laughs> yeah, cool. just, just drop your camera in there. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. See, look, perfectly on time. Yeah. Actually, they're not doing too bad a job of clipping through either. Uh, so let's carry on down. So I tried to. I've, I was quite glad that you spotted this, but I tried to do this kind of fusion thing of it feeling like a little bit of Asian in there, a little bit of kind of Chinese. But not too much. But not that's, too much, yeah. That's the point, yeah. And then it blends back into a bit more sort of simplified and stuff. So we'll come round very slow, very slowly <laughs> in Tejid Cam into, uh, into the kind of main viewing section. Oh, there's stupid people standing there. 
Uh, and again, just like a few little, I don't know, these were kind of just a few little splashes of Chinese. It was actually quite a challenge, I, I, I have to say. I, I just have to mention, you you would be an awful director of a zoo. <laughs> I'd probably, I, I absolutely would be, because I'm, why? Go and explain why you think I would be. <laughs> you hate pretty much all the guests. I hate the guests. <laughs> they get in my way. I only want I'm like a hundred guests. That's all I'd like if I had the choice. Yeah, that would be a great option. And I'm, yeah. pick, I'm, I'm picky as heck as well, so that probably all the keepers would hate me. Yeah, tell me more. <laughs> yeah. Um, so let's take a little peek in the. Let's take a little yeah, peek. What, in what's the, what's this for? Uh, what's this? This. Yeah. Um, I saw Ricey do this in a few places. It's just supposed to be like a little manhole cover. Ah, okay. I just felt like it helps out. Or you, like... or you could hide um, electronics in Yeah, there. exactly. Yeah. That's what a manhole yeah, cover okay. is. Or, yeah, well, cool. or like a, yeah, just a little service thing. So it doesn't feel like it's always, it's all kind of thick, something that's been here forever. Uh, so we'll go in there in a minute and have a look around. Um, I did. I'm quite happy with this. They quite. They kind of chill out. You do sometimes see other guests up the top there. We've got one up the top. <laughs> um, yeah, it's, it's pretty much an, an um, search and exploring view you got here. Yeah, and that's what I quite like it. Yeah, and I think it came out when we talked about this originally. My picture was always so. What I'd seen from Red Pandas, and when I did a bit of research, was that. They always have more than one location where they can like hang out and hide. It's actually quite unusual that they'd have just one one bedding area. They think they're like supposed to have like three or four. So I've sort of tried to do that a little bit. Obviously you're a little bit limited in the game with how small you can make things. Yeah, the traversable area is a nightmare. Yeah, as you see Moon walking up his <laughs> Moon walking up a tree. Occasionally they do it so perfectly and then sometimes they just look really really awful, but it's not too bad in here. So yeah, it was always supposed to be just like a box. It just I don't know what it's a feel all of like almost like hutches, but not too um not too complicated and pretty simple. And we'll show you the piece in a minute. It's become Haribo's new favourite piece and he's used it all, <laughs> all over the place. Um and I've made a bit of a rod for my own back. We talked about this the other day and I showed Haribo this and was like, what do you think of this? So this is like a little you know, in how measure of endangered we've got to do this in the rest of the zoo uh and what did you you were like i'm not doing it but i like the idea. <laughs> yeah <laughs> i wouldn't do it <laughs> yeah so we might do that and we, we're still sort of working on i think we're still working on like a theme right like a corporate branding this is yeah, this I, is I reasonably think, to get in there yeah and i think this one is, is pretty much perfect um but I, I think you're you're way better with the small details. So it's it's now it's your job. <laughs> yeah, I think I, I think we maybe get to that point because I quite like doing. I think you're like really really good at the architecture, and I'm not that great at the architecture, and so better I'm, at the better at the little silly the little details, basically. It, yeah. Yeah. So we've got like a temporary, just a temporary wall here. And obviously, there's more zoo to come this way. Uh, and if it come here, oh, up this step. Did you notice my little? Yes, of course. J <laughs> janked out fence. Good. I love it. I love it. Uh, right. So we carry on up this path. So we're back, go heading back up the other way towards the deck again. Uh, but we have a little backstage area here, which ended up being a bit of, bit of a collaboration effort, right? Because you built this. Yes. You built this thing. I originally had just placed uh, one of the in-game ones in here. Uh, and then you came along. I think these are off the workshop. can't remember where I got them from, but they're off the workshop. Links yeah. in the down there. Yeah, they will be in the collection, as always. Yeah. So, yeah, just I thought this worked out quite well. Just nice little... I, I had a, quite a lot of... A lot of redoing of this in order to make sure none of it was visible from the guests. Because obviously they're coming down that, that hill, which is why this bit of fence is kind of high. Uh, but let's go into the actual habitat. Woohoo! Woo <laughs> um, so yeah, they basically like... The keepers can't get, although it's kind of implied, 
that they can get to the rest of the habitat. Obviously, they can't actually get to the habitat. I like how you even even supported the wall down there. Yeah. Yeah, I've done that sort of thing before. They're like prefab walls because they don't look like they could stand up too much. Um, I think those sorts of things just help it like go back to looking false. Do you know what I mean? You've done that in a few places where you add something and you make sure it looks... Yeah, if, if it's just the thin scenery, it's, it totally makes sense to do it. And it makes it feel like staging, right? Like a, yeah. a, a set yeah. or something. Yeah. Um, so we've got a couple of these little kind of hutches. Uh, and this is the piece. Maybe I'll go down, actually. Look at it from down below. Probably better. So they can get in all of these little hutches. Go down here through this little door. So as I said, the, the keepers don't actually come through this door. Uh, but so they can go in there, bed down in there, obviously climb up and down if they want to. Yeah, and at this wall, I recognized the the. I was thinking, did he really use all the all the little pieces to, to create this wall? <laughs> but no, he didn't. <laughs> it's yeah. just one piece, and it's one piece. The texture is so nice. It's so cool, isn't it? It's the, it's definitely it's that it's the bracket. It's the bracket on the back that makes it for me. And the fact that, I mean, I think that's one of the things that Frontier do so well is just like every side of the objects has got some value to it. So a lot of games would just make the front facade of it and they wouldn't really bother. Um, and that works so well. And it does actually work. <laughs> I can't remember how many, the problem I had was obviously I wanted it to be wood but I didn't want them to be able to climb through the walls and what they were doing was because if I put clad, clad it in normal timber hmm. they just phased through the wall and, and jumped up onto the uh, I wonder if I can actually go through this <laughs> in, a, in a couple of weeks you see a whole building made with this problem <laughs> <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> Um, right, so yeah, we just it was pretty simple in here, really. The actual, um, we kept this kind of little pond again. There's a little bit of the dividing wall there. I like, I like how kind of um, irregular it came out. Yes, it's all kind of a bit janky and a bit uh, different shapes. Oh, I see the, the, the pandas have the best view, <laughs> <laughs> the pandas just... have the best view. Yeah, if you turn around, you got the, yeah. the the view to the restaurant. I left the clouds on. I forgot. I left the I've left the clouds. No, on. No, no, it's it's sunny. I yeah, guess. but that's clouds. It's not supposed to yeah. be clouds out there. Never mind. <laughs> so let's carry on. Um, so yeah, that's those guys. Kind of happy with the way that came out. So that's the red pandas. Uh, let's carry on up this way. Uh, yeah, so just I wanted to kind of just dot these things around just to add. Oh, there's a couple other places I've done it as well. I don't know if you've not noticed them. Little round ones and little mm. little taps and little grates and things. I think they just add to the. Even even uh, some drainages at points where the water would. Uh, yeah, exactly. Like... Yeah, so there's like another drain over there. I've seen it was Ricey that I saw do that and I thought, oh, that's really clever. I'm going to nick that idea. I like my little, I don't know if you noticed my little life finds a way. <laughs> this is a little little oh, metaphor here. Cool. I don't know if you've seen this. No, that's cool. So the tree's been cut. There's another one grown out of the stump of it. <laughs> that's nice. Uh, so this is, the, this is the, the final bit of the disabled access down off the deck, basically. So they can come yep. down this, this ramp. So let's go up here. I don't think this is actually a path. No, it's not. No, it's not. Not this time. <laughs> and then, yeah, when you have when you've seen this before, none of this has been finished. So we've obviously got still stuff to do up on the hill. But this is all, all kind of part of the vineyard. All kind of part of the, the very very kind of heavily dressed things. Uh, I think they work really well. I've yeah, I've done this once already, but I think they work really well as like watering. Altering the flower yeah. beds, those things. That's how I use them too. Yeah, super cool. Uh, so yeah, back of the... This is obviously back of the conservatory where we started. But the new thing you haven't seen is this. So this oh, is... What's, a, what's this little sign? 
the, the, sorry. <laughs> That's just the... Ah, all right. Yeah, all right. and it's got some lights underneath it. Cool. Um, so this was with, if you remember back to what we talked about a couple of episodes, we talked to go, talked about the fact that this was all originally a winery and that their wine was so tasty that they went out of business because <laughs> they drank it all. <laughs> they didn't sell enough. They were too busy drinking it. Uh, yep. And so I felt like it needed something here that was just kind of continuing that a little bit. We've got, we're going to do a little bit more of this in places, scatter it around the zoo, but obviously not go too heavy with it. Um, but we were talking about how basically I was like, how do we get something in here? I, don't, I think the original idea was like just a place for guest facility, uh, so for staff facilities. Yes. Um, and so this seemed like a good way of just getting away with doing that. It was just to stick in the old, the old wine cellar. So this is, I mean, to be fair, I've, I've lit, the, the bit that's awesome and amazing in here the vaulted ceiling I nicked completely from you because yes. <laughs> we already had that in the building. But it works very, very good. It does work well what I've done here, that's that's for sure. Um, and I just did, yeah, so I, I think these were my barrel. These are my barrels, aren't yes. they? I yes. made these. So much smaller ones than we've got in the main part of the winery because these are actually supposed to be like, you know, actual kind of... <laughs> I, don't even, I don't even know... Could it be that they built these uh, barrels in in the place where they are? I think they sometimes? do. Yeah. So that was why I did this. Yeah. <laughs> so I did. I created this little kind of like, oh, cool. broken That's one cool. where because they because you know the how they do this is basically they have like stays or trusses. They put those metal things around, and um, obviously a, a barrel actually has got like a shape to it, a bulge to it. Uh, but cool. this is supposed to be one where the, the trusses are broken and, and the whole thing's kind of falling apart. Uh, and then we have a little ramp for getting the barrels down, a little pad for them to kind of fall onto. Nice. Uh, and then the the bit that was like the mad part of this was definitely the floor. <laughs> it was definitely the floor. Uh, so I saw it when it I saw it when it was um, complete, and yeah. then the whole, and uh, even my frame rate <laughs> dropped. <laughs> immediately <laughs> yeah it looked cool it just it was a shame it didn't perform all that well so basically everything was tiled the whole yeah. of the floor was tiled i don't i think this actually works all right though so it's supposed to be that just that over the years you know the tiles have been damaged and removed basically because they've just you know and it's we're down to the <laughs> floor below yeah and used at other places <laughs> <laughs> yes i have used that somewhere else no, just just ripped out by by uh, by construction workers and and put elsewhere. Yeah, that would be quite a cool idea, wouldn't it? I did think about making a pile of them somewhere, but I was like, oh, I don't even know how to do that. So I just kind of um, there's a quite a few places where they're just kind of like janked up a bit, and or maybe every missing. time some someone stumble over over a I know, stone, I'm a sadistic person. <laughs> <laughs> um right so then then it was like yeah so this is all obviously you can see the the staff are going through these doors there's nothing behind these doors um there's other than staff facilities but there's that all that backstage is not done uh and then my favorite actually maybe this was the original idea maybe this was where we originally got this idea of doing a wine cellar so i thought it'd be a really fun way of just doing like a little um tip of a hat to anyone we've used, uh, anyone that we've used stuff from the workshop. Now, I think there's a few missing and they'll all be here eventually, but, uh, so, but there are a lot of barrels to use. Yes. So for everywhere we've used uh, someone's stuff from the workshop or they've contributed something, they get their own personal <laughs> barrel, barrel of wine. Yeah. And when you're building at the park, you're getting a big one. Yeah, so if you've done your own... So because Carlos has done a load of actual big work, he gets his own... I don't know. We maybe can't end up with too many of these in here, but yeah, yep. so he gets his own big one. So yeah, I think that's going to be it. We'll have a little go back up and we'll have a look around in the night um, just because there's quite a lot of... Quite, I'm, quite, I'm really, really more like more and more enjoying maybe doing... Maybe a small flight over here. Yeah, I'll do... I'll go to the night. I'm more and more enjoying doing 
the night. Oh, there's this sort of back path happening here as well. It's supposed to be that there was an original route into the into this area. So let's just pop down there quickly. Look at it. So it looks quite. It doesn't look too bad. It was. It's a bit. It's a bit janky with the light and the tiles, but I think it came out all right. I like it. I like how kind of um, dim it looks. For me, it looks a bit spooky, but yeah, me. but that's what that's what a cellar should look like, isn't it? Like an old an yes, old yes. crypt or yeah. something like this. Um, there's actually quite a lot of lights in the floor as well, just to give it enough of a. Yeah, that's probably not a great place where you can see it there, but enough of a, a, a light. Um, and then I've done a load. Of, started doing a lot of these little things as well. We're just kind of putting lights here and there in the flower beds. Uh, there's well. my yeah. there's my heaters. Oh crap! I mean, even 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 the heaters have the have this uh, little red ring. In yeah, it. they do. If you, if you look from well, you can't see it as well from here because it's dark. Uh, but there's a red a red thing that's, there. Oh, that's a nice shot. That is a nice shot, isn't it? That's a nice shot. Yeah. <laughs> look at that moon. God, I don't look at the moon in this game very much. It's so cool. Uh, so let's go this way. So this is the obviously as you come down the entrance, the main path. That's actually, I think I ended up doing three wolves there, so we could get three three colours. There's a third colour in there. Not a big fan of this bear, but... Um, no, yeah. I would rather there was a better one, but I think I felt like it kind of was needed. But yeah, I think this came out all right. Oh God, look how light they all are down there. They look like... Yeah, so sometimes you see the lights through the floor too much. I think I probably need to adjust that a little yes, bit. Yes, it's a problem with the Arctic um, bubble light. Yeah. You would always have. So I think that's going to be it, unless I'm missing anything. Do you think I'm missing anything? Not that I know. Cool. All right, well, hope you, uh, hope you enjoyed that one, guys. Um, more to come very soon. We're actually recording two today, so the next one is coming up very soon as well. And we've progressed loads, so all sorts of exciting things happening um so yeah thank you very much and peeps do you want to say goodbye bye <laughs> <laughs> take it easy my name's toves catch you on the next one